Hi guys, so I wanted to do a doll room review, which I've been meaning to do for some time now. Haven't actually got around to doing it. Um, so I'm going to give you, it's only a quick little room really, because the room I've moved into now is a lot more smaller than what it used to be. So, so as we walk into the room, this is kind of what you see. Like I said, it is a doll wall right now. So I'm just going to go up here and show you what's going on. So up here we have some gem dolls from the Integrity line with also some vintage Barbies. We've got Bride Barbie, uh, we've got Sparkle Beach Teresa, and we've also got Glitter Hair Barbie at the back. And on the next shelf we've got all the Wreck-It Ralph dolls here from the Disney Store. They are really cool. And we've got some other ornaments here. We've got a Vanessa, Ariel and another Ariel and then on this shelf we've got a Alice in Wonderland um, Christmas ornament and this shelf is my Spice Girls collection so we've got them in box and out box there we are guys second wave we've got the third wave and then on my bottom shelf we have my custom Spice Girls that I designed, created myself with a Britney and a Jerry behind. And also here you can see I have my, um, oh, I can't remember what make these are now. But anyway, um, here is my Rapunzel. Um, they're quite big and fully poseable. Now, as we move on to the wall, um, we've got some, these are just some dolls that are being customed right now. Um, but anyway, we have Aurora in her blue outfit. And then if you move up one, we have Maleficent. And if we move up another, we have Aurora slash Briar Rose here. One of my favourites, this one. Absolutely love this girl. And then above there, we have a Ursula. And on the top shelf right there, you can see I've got Vanessa and Ariel. So I'm hoping to be adding some more of the Little Mermaid limited edition dolls releases. Now, if we start at the top, um, across we have Lady Tremaine and the Fairy Godmother and underneath we have the designer Ursula underneath that is designer Aurora these are kind of old now underneath is the designer Maleficent here and underneath again we have the designer Maleficent and Aurora and underneath that We've got designer Ariel and King Triton. Okay, so if we move along here, we've got, this is my newest one that I managed to get for a really, really good price. And I found out that she was only up the road from me. So she was a must have. So I finally got my limited edition Jasmine. Okay, so if we move up, we have Ice Queen Elsa there and if we move up again we have the Christmas Elsa here I really like this one as well and then if we move up we have wedding Rapunzel there she is now if we go up again on another shelf we have the cartoon versions of Lady Tremaine and Drizella and Anastasia up there and across we also have the same but in live action form so we're gonna go down and we have designer Eric and Ariel designer Jasmine there and then we have designer Aurora and Prince Philip or Briar Rose as some people you know she gets called she's got so many names 
Um, and then we've got Captain Hook from Peter Pan, and obviously the tiny little Tinkerbell, which is really, really cute. So you're gonna focus on her there. She's cool, how far can we go? <laughs> but anyway, that is those guys. Focus back out there, guys. So underneath we have our Snow White and the Hag. She's fantastic with her apples. And then we've got designer Snow White and the Prince. Always still one of my favourites. And alongside there we have the Evil Queen. So if we go up another notch, we've got Beauty and the Beast with Bow. And then we've got Aladdin and Jasmine on the other side. And then if we go this side, we've got Snow White designer and Corella Deville designer. Up again, we've got the Queen of Hearts and we've got Alice and the Red Queen. Well, it says Red Queen, even though it should have been the Queen of Hearts, which they do have it there. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea why they did that. That could have been the Red Queen. That would have worked. Okay, in a notch on on a nut on the net shelf up, we have Aurora, and we've got the little tiny Bo Peep, which the light does turn on as well. Um, and then we've got a Tonner Alice. I've had her for a while now. And then we've got designer Ariel. Above that, you've got live action Aurora and a custom Alice in Wonderland. There. So now we're going to head on to this side. So up here we've got designers, all the Rapunzels, well, the four that I have. Underneath that we have an Alice in Wonderland shelf. As you can see here. Underneath that shelf, we have the Cinderella shelf. There we are. It's got the limited edition, some live actions, and some designers on that shelf. Some other figurines too. Now, my next shelf, we have a lot of random dolls actually. So, we've got some pullets. We've got a Madame Alexander, a Dorothy, and also a gem doll at the end, and some other ornaments. Okay, now my bottom shelf is the most random shelf right now. Ooh, there we are. So this one's going to be really difficult to show you, but I've got the original Bo Peep, I've got some S Club 7 dolls, Rapunzel, and here we have Jesse, Woody, and the new Toy Story Bo Peep. Now behind all of these dolls, guys, is the Spice World collection, which I have done a review on. So if you'd like to see them, you need to go and, go and hunt those down. So on my landing, I also have two figurines here from the Hulk Cultures, Aurora and Elsa. Okay, so this is my last shelf now to show you. Um, and this is down in my living room actually. Um, I was very lucky to get some of them downstairs. <laughs> so around the back here I have the limited edition Alice in Wonderland. Um, probably my favourite limited edition doll. And beside her is my Ariel limit, limited edition doll. So in front we have one of the big figs from the Disney parks, which I actually got in Florida a few years ago. A tiny Ariel that I think I got from Paris once upon a time. Um, I have this one off the Bradford's Exchange website. She's very pretty. And also another big fig of Alice in Wonderland. Alice is definitely my favourite Disney character, if you haven't noticed by now. <laughs> so underneath, this is the last shelf, and we have one of the Walt Disney classics, Alice. We have two mugs, one's Chip, one's Alice. Um, this one here, which I found at the Disneyland Paris Park last October, so I've had it for a year now. Um, I was very excited to find Alice, because... 
Obviously she's my favourite and I didn't see any of these girls in any places in the park. And then I ended up walking into my hotel room and they had the tiniest, smallest Disney shop. And what do you know, they had this version in Alice with Dinah. I was like, that's a must have. I was very, very excited. <laughs> I also got the glass Alice here. And I also really like the Tinkerbell. And behind here is the Alice sitting on a mushroom. I don't usually collect these ones, but because she was Alice, we had to buy her. And last but not least, one of my favorite parts of my collection, we have the snow globe from Disneyland Paris in all its glory. Let's see if I can get a little closer. So there we have it. Coming down the stairs, something I really wanted for a long time. Thanks for watching guys, that is my mini tour at the moment. <laughs> I do have a lot more, um, at the moment they're all in storage, but I just thought I would give you some sort of idea of what's going on in my Disney room. Um, also, like I said, the dolls will be having their own room one day and we'll be getting a few more in. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, keep watching and following and please subscribe to my videos, I'll see you soon.